So to get this up and running and use Notify, we obviously need to require it into our project. So we're going to do a composer require on code course slash Notify. That's going to go ahead and download the Notify package. Okay, so that's done. Let's head over to config app because what we need to do now is pull in the service provider to allow this to work. So this is namespaced under code course Notify. And it's Notify service provider so we pull that in there is a optional facade but we don't really need this because if we have a look under the packagist files here you can see we have this functions file which will just return an instance of notify and that will allow us to use the shorthand function but if you did want to use a facade you can go ahead and add it into your facade list just down here so what we're going to be doing is creating a route here, which is going to set a notification, redirect us back to the home page, which is this welcome.blade.php file that we have up here, or this view. And then we're going to, in both ways, with Bootstrap and Suite Alert, show a notification. So let's create this route now. Uh, it's just going to be called slash notify. And inside of here, we're going to notify, and then we're just going to return and we're going to redirect to forward slash now obviously all of this can be done within a controller that's more appropriate than writing everything within your roots file we're just testing here so you can go ahead and try it out here if you're working with a fresh installation so let's test that this notify root works so that should just redirect us back to the home page perfect so let's try with the bootstrap version of this first of all so all we need to do is if we have a notification we just need to render some markup and then show them show the message within that so under our roots then all we need to do is use the notify function we want to flash a message and we can type the message here so you have signed in for example then we give a type so this can be success it could be error and this is entirely flexible notify is front-end framework agnostic so we don't have we're not tied down to things like error it can be anything you want we're going to do success for now so if we go back to our notify route here you can see that nothing really happens but what we have actually done here is we have stored session values and inside of our view we can use notify to check if these exist without having to use the laravel session facade so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say if notify ready that means that we have a message ready to show I'm just going to type ready in here now just so we can test this out so if we go to notify you can see we get ready output to the page and then that goes after we refresh so in here then what we want to do is we want to output alert and then alert say success and in here we want to output the notify message so we can say notify message and what that's going to do is when we head over to notify, you see you've signed in. So it's that easy. But you may have noticed that I hard coded in success here. Now, of course, depending on the type you send here, you may want to output that as a class. So that's just as easy. We just say notify type. And then for anything we do, we get the right type. So for example, we could change this to sign in failed error which is bootstraps class here for an error so it would be notify hyphen error and if we go back to notify now you see sign in failed actually it might be danger rather than error Let's try this one out there we go so it's completely flexible if you're working with just markup here and of course we can pass through additional options to this as well but we're going to look at that when we look at using sweet alert which will give us much nicer flash messages